This is my beautiful son. His name is Steam Steam Apps Common. Wow. Music is weird. Humanity found out how to hit the air in the right way, and now we argue which is better. It's all the same in the end. Stop arguing. That is... Ooh. <laughs> That's a hot take. Bro, you just triggered my dynamic display, bro. I'm flaring my wings and bobbing my head while hissing at you, bro. P -p -p Please be scared of me. <laughs> Please, for the love of God, stop saying that I, an autistic person, remind you of Sheldon Cooper. This is not the compliment that you think it is. And no, I will not say Bamungus. Nowadays, so many Tumblr posts are just about Tumblr. We're running into things to talk about. I switched my trash can with my neighbors today because theirs is nicer. You! Now that's a deep dive Tumblr joke right there. Good luck finding it. This character is not canonically bisexual. Yeah, to you. I know them personally. It's called parasocializing, Sharon. Past me is an idiot, and future me is a bastard. I only exist in the present. <laughs> like, is this like that part in Homestuck where Car Cat argues with himself through paradox time? Hey, how many fingers do you have? Ten? How many do you intend to keep? Uh, Mario only saves Peach to get a kiss on the cheek. Wrong! Mario saves Peach because she's his friend and he loves her and also because he's a good person who wants to help others. The cheek kiss is merely a nice bonus. Also, have you ever had a cheek kiss? It's pretty great. Bowser, are you homophobic? You think I'm scared of gay people? I'm Bowser! Technology is amazing. I haven't been able to get the full video, but we just celebrated one of our steam locomotives turning 145 by checking a chocolate cake into our firebox. Can you just imagine making a whole chocolate cake only to throw it into the firebox? But also, happy birthday, I guess. Aw, isn't it cute? Picture of the wettest, most pathetic looking guy you've ever seen. Ah, uh, the bucky spoon, scringly doo, the shrunkle scrumblo. <laughs> Important note to all Dracula fans. Coca-Cola was invented in 1886, and the story is set in 1897. This means you can authentically hint at Coca-Cola in any and all fan work set around the book's time period. Not that it's very impressive, since Dracula himself wouldn't drink it, but certainly the American suitor can. Van Helsing absolutely wired on classic cocaine Coca-Cola defeating Dracula. I need this in my life. Okay. Correct me if I'm wrong, but did you know that carrying a sword is generally illegal? And they are considered firearms? They're considered the same as guns? What? My mom keeps asking me shit like, Have you drank anything today? And do you need to take a break? And how damn long is it going to take you for you to finish your math? Like what math you mean? <laughs> What? Math? Jeff Kinney announces new series, Diary of an Even Wimpier Kid. When asked for details, he replies, You thought that poor son of a bitch was wimpy. <laughs> you haven't seen shit yet, brother. In a shocking move of one-upsmanship, Lincoln Pierce, author of the Big Nate series, has countered Kinney's announcement with his own. My new series is called Bigger Nate, Pierce said, and he's, he's huge now. Just the, just the biggest motherfucker you've ever seen. Tumblr is my bedroom this, and Tumblr is a pinboard that. Tumblr is an apartment complex with thin walls, and every so often, you just have to listen to your neighbor say the most deranged shit imaginable. We all vacuum at the same time. Um, hey, sorry if this is stupid, but the Earth has, like, mountains and valleys and stuff, you know? So I don't see how it can be flat. If there's mountains and stuff, sorry if it's stupid, I'm sorry. My Nana thinks the Earth is cube and mountains are just the corners. Tell your Nana to text me. Doctor, I'm sorry, but we had to remove your colon. Me, why? Wait. Zoom in. Jeff, you son of a bitch. Neither alive nor dead, but a secret third thing. At sea. If you aren't at least vaguely aware of your friend's digestive system issues, are you even friends? Like, bro, do you know that your best friend has IBS? Do you? Normalize that getting a cutie mark in elementary school. Normalize grown stallions and men without a cutie mark. Normalize never getting your cutie mark. Mm hmm. Not because you're a blank flank, aren't you? Shut your mouth!